This is the Veneretti Cafe Racer. And I've just ticked over a thousand miles over the last few months. And I thought I'd talk to you about it. Just a disclaimer, Veneretti didn't send me this bike. I bought it myself. I actually bought it second hand off Facebook Marketplace. So I came by this bike online. I was on Instagram and I was constantly getting served the ads for this bike. And I wanted to change up my commute style. I wanted to get fitter. I wanted to start cycling. So I went on their website, and obviously at the time, this was near the end of the pandemic, everyone had bought bikes and they were constantly sold out. In the end, I decided, you know what, I can't be bothered to wait anymore. I'll go on Facebook Marketplace, have a little look around, see what there was. And here this one was. So for about £300, I had a full spec Veloresse Cafe Racer. It had the handbrake, one at the front, and also one at the back. It's also a free speed gears, so plenty for me to ride through London. So I'll put the specs over here just so you get a full idea of what is on this bike. It's a full aluminium frame and it has 28 inch wheels. This is not standard. I wanted to add some bits to make my little journey to London a little bit nicer and a little bit easier. So unfortunately, one of the downfalls with these bikes or with the company and their bikes, they don't provide rear racks, they only provide front racks. So when I bought the bike, I took it to get it a full service in a local bike shop and I asked if they could fit a rear rack, which they did lovely. It doesn't have the traditional attachments for a rear rack. It's around the seat post, but it's been sturdy as anything. I carry two Alt Altly panniers and I fill them to the max with laptop, chargers, lunch, drinks, snacks, the whole lot. Um, and I haven't any problems just yet. So the bike came with the standard wave bike seat, which was perfectly comfortable for, you know, hopping around the, around the block, go to the shops, and I wanted something a little bit nicer. So I picked up a Brooks B17 leather saddle. Yes, it's true, they are very hard when you first start riding, but it has softened up lovely, and it is super, super comfortable. The other thing I've added, um, I've got two very basic Amazon LED lights. They're super bright. Um, not the most attractive looking things, but they work perfectly for when it gets dark here um, in winter. So this is a quick view of the cockpit. Um, you can change these out. They have on their website, they have the Brooks um, versions. Um, but these have been fine. I've been using them with, with my gloves perfectly. Lots of grip uh, in the rain. Um, obviously you've got your bell. That's been super useful in London. People do not look where they're going. And we also have the Shimano Nexus free speed. Free gears is enough. You don't need to go anymore when you're cycling around the streets in cities. So I've loved my thousand miles with my Velocity Cafe Racer cycling in and around London. I feel fitter, I feel happier. I arrive at work so much more ready for the day. And when I get home, I feel like I've had a good workout, even though I've just been commuting. I've been doing a bit of train and the rest cycle. But since the summer, I have done over a thousand miles and I'm still loving every day with it. I'm still getting excited to go cycling. I'd recommend one of these if you can pick one up. You can pick one up secondhand, or you can pick it up brand new. And um, if you pick it up secondhand, that's a bonus. You can save yourself even more money. Um, and then you can just start adding the bits that you want to make it yours. So if you've got any questions about this bike or about my commuting into London or you want to see a video about that, do let me know. Um, and see you in the next one.